Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to our channel. In this video, we'll be discussing GCP Digital Leader real exam questions, and this is part 6 of the series. Before we start, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications whenever we upload a video. Starting with question 26. Your organization is developing an application that will manage payments and online bank accounts around, located around the world. The most critical requirement for your database is that each transaction is handled consistently. Your organization anticipates almost unlimited growth in the amount of data stored. Which Google Cloud product should your organization choose? So let's go through the options. Option A is Cloud SQL, B is Cloud Storage, C is Firestore, and D is Cloud Spanner. Okay, so the keywords in this question are database and unlimited growth. So with those keywords, we can see that cloud storage is not database related. So we'll cross off B. Now we have options A, C, and D left. Out of which options A and D are SQL and C is not no SQL. Now another keyword in this question is handed consistently. But the thing with Firestore, which is no SQL, is that it uh, it is not consistent. That is why C will also not be the answer. Now out of A and D, both of them will get the job done, but Cloud Spanner is more efficient than Cloud SQL. So that is why we'll be choosing Cloud Spanner over Cloud SQL. So finally, option D, Cloud Spanner, is our answer for question 26. Let's move on to question 27. Your organization wants an economical solution to store data such as files, graphical images and videos, and to access and share them securely. Which Google Cloud product or service should your organization use? Okay, here the keyword is store data. So we know that cloud storage stores data. So that is, that is clearly our answer. So for question 27, cloud storage is the answer. Let's move on to question 28. Your organization wants to predict the behavior of visitors to its public website. To do that, you have decided to build a machine learning model. Your team has database-related skills, but only basic machine learning skills, and would like to use those database skills. Which Google Cloud product or feature should your organization choose? And so let's go to the options. Option A is BigQuery ML, B is LookML, C is TensorFlow, and D is Cloud SQL. So here the question requires uh, the question says you have decided to build a machine learning model and that your team has database related skills only and no uh, and basic machine skill learning skills so now since it says machine learning model we can see we can clearly eliminate cloud sql since it's database related so we'll el eliminate option d we'll also eliminate option c tensorflow uh, since it says that your team has database related skills and only basic machine learning skills, but TensorFlow is harder for people who only have basic machine learning skills. Now from option A and B, A is the answer, BigQuery ML, and we'll eliminate LookML. It, this is because LookML is for uh, people who use LookML need to be able to do model management and troubleshooting of models. But here it says your team only has basic, uh, your team has database related skills. So that is why LookML is also not the answer. So finally, option A, BigQuery ML is our answer for question 28. Heading on to question 29. Your organization needs to restrict access to a cloud storage bucket. Only employees who are based in Canada should be allowed to view the contents. What is the most effective and efficient way to satisfy the requirement? Let's go through the options. Option A, deploy the cloud storage bucket to a Google Cloud region in Canada. Now this will not be the answer since it says only employees who are based in Canada should be allowed to view the contents. But in option A, people outside Canada will also be able to view the contents of the bucket. That is why A is not the answer. Option B, configure Google Cloud Armor to allow access to the bucket only from IP addresses based in Canada. Now, Google Cloud Armor is used to prevent cyber attacks, but the question does not require for anything security related. That is why, that is why B is not the answer. Now, we have options C and D left. 
Now you'll see that option D is more efficient than option C. I'll read out the options. Option C is give each employee who's based in Canada access to the bucket. And option D is create a group consisting of all Canada based employees and give the group access to the bucket. So now we'll look at these two situations in another way. If your teacher has to send a document to all the students in the class, it would be easier for them to create a group with all the students and send their document there instead of sending one document to each of the students. And if there's a new joinee, a new student, a transfer student, then it'll be easier for them to uh, join, uh, add them to the group so that they can view that document instead of sending the document to each student individually. So the same happens in options C and D. So they, it is easier and more time efficient to create a group consisting of all Canada-based employees and giving that group the access to the bucket. So D is the answer, so we'll eliminate C as well. So for question 29, D, create a group consisting of all Canada-based employees and give the group access to the bucket is our answer. Now let's move on to question 30, which is the last question of this part. Your organization is moving an application to Google Cloud. As part of that effort, it needs to migrate the application's working database from another cloud provider to Cloud SQL. The database runs on the SQL engine, MySQL engine. The migration must cause minimal disruption to the users. Data must be secured while in transit. Which should your organization use? So let's go through the options. Option A is BigQuery Data Transfer Service. B is MySQL Batch Insert. C is Database Migration Service. And D is Cloud Composer. Option A, BigQuery Data Transfer Service. It moves data into BigQuery. Then the question says, uh, migrate the application's working data database from another cloud provider to Cloud SQL and not BigQuery. So that is why A is not the answer. Now MySQL batch insert, it's uh, slow. And if there's an error in, while during the transit, then there has to be more manual work as they have to clean up and then uh, start the whole process again. So we'll eliminate B, MySQL batch insert as well. Now out of C and D, database migration service and cloud composer, D, Cloud Composer, is related to microservices such as Kubernetes, etc. And, and it's based on uh, Apache Airflow. It is a service built in Apache Airflow. So that is why Cloud Composer is not the answer. It deals with microservices and we do not uh, need that in the question. So A, B, and D have been eliminated. So clearly C is our answer. Finally, C, Database Migration Service, is the answer for question 30. Alright guys, that was the end of this part. Once again, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications whenever we upload a video. That was the end of part 6 of G GCP Digital Leader Real Exam Questions. See you guys in the next part.